What if the biggest threat to our modern world isn't from wars, pandemics, or climate change, but from the sun? Yes, you heard it right, the sun. It's not just about the heat or light it gives off, but something far more powerful and potentially destructive, solar storms. Solar storms or space weather events are large eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. These storms filled with high energy particles can travel at incredible speeds, reaching Earth in just a matter of days. These particles are what create the beautiful northern and southern lights or auroras we often admire. But don't be fooled by their beauty, they carry an unseen threat. Our sun operates on an 11-year cycle with periods of increased and decreased activity. During these periods of high activity, the sun is more likely to produce these intense storms. And unfortunately for us, scientists are predicting a particularly active solar cycle in the year 2024. Now you might be wondering, how can solar storms affect us here on Earth? Well, these high-energy particles can wreak havoc on our modern technology. They can damage satellites, disrupt power grids, and even cause radio blackouts. Imagine a world without internet, without electricity, without communication, that's the potential impact of a severe solar storm. In the past, we've experienced the effects of such storms. In 1859, a powerful solar storm known as the Carrington Event caused telegraph systems across Europe and North America to fail. Today, with our reliance on technology even greater, the consequences could be far more severe. The threat is real, and it's coming from above. We cannot stop it, but we can prepare for it. By understanding what solar storms are and how they occur, we can better protect our planet and our way of life from this unseen threat. Solar storms aren't just beautiful light shows in the sky, they have the potential to cause real chaos here on Earth. Throughout history we've seen the impact of these solar storms on our planet. Let's rewind the clock back to the year 1859, a year that witnessed the largest recorded geomagnetic storm known as the Carrington Event. Named after Richard Carrington, the British astronomer who first spotted the solar flare that caused it, this storm was a wake-up call for humanity about the sheer power of our nearest star. Imagine if you will, a world where technology was in its infancy, where telegraph systems were the cutting edge of communication. Now picture those same systems sparking, catching fire, and even operating without their power sources, all because of a storm millions of miles away. That's exactly what happened during the Carrington event. Telegraph operators reported receiving shocks, their papers caught fire, and messages were transmitted even when the batteries were disconnected. It was chaotic to say the least. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. For those lucky enough to be at the right place at the right time, they witnessed a celestial spectacle like no other. Auroras. These dazzling displays of light painted the skies, not just in the usual high-latitude regions, but as far south as Hawaii, Cuba, and even sub-Saharan Africa. However, it's important to remember that our dependency on technology has increased exponentially since the days of the Carrington event. Back then, a few telegraph lines going haywire was a major inconvenience, but today, our entire world runs on technology. Our communication systems, power grids, satellites, and even our everyday gadgets, all could be affected by a solar storm of that magnitude. In fact, a study from the National Academy of Sciences estimated that a modern-day Carrington event could cause between one to two trillion dollars in damages, and it could take up to 10 years to fully recover. And that's a conservative estimate. So, if a solar storm of that magnitude happened today, what would be the fallout? It's a question we need to ask ourselves, and more importantly, it's a question we need to prepare for. In our tech-driven world, the effects of a severe solar storm could be catastrophic. Imagine a day where the lights go out, not just in your home, but across the entire globe. Imagine a world where satellites suddenly drop from the sky, and the GPS systems that guide planes, ships, and your own car, cease to function. Picture a day where the entire internet goes down, halting global communications and economic transactions. These scenarios might seem like something out of a science fiction movie, but they're the potential realities we face with a significant solar storm. Our modern infrastructure is incredibly vulnerable to space weather power grids, the backbone of our modern society, are particularly susceptible. A surge of solar energy could overload these systems, leading to widespread blackouts. Our last major encounter with a solar storm back in 1989 led to a nine-hour blackout in Quebec, Canada. And that was just a minor storm. A severe storm like the one predicted for 2024 could cripple power grids on a global scale, leaving us in the dark for days, weeks, or even longer. Next, consider our reliance on satellite systems. 
They're used for everything from weather forecasting and GPS navigation to telecommunications and defense. A major solar storm could damage these delicate systems, disrupting vital services and costing billions in damages. And let's not forget the internet, the lifeblood of our interconnected world. Solar storms can interfere with undersea cables and ground-based infrastructure that the internet relies on. The result? A potential global internet blackout. In this hyper-connected age, such an event could have far-reaching implications, affecting everything from global commerce to our day-to-day -day communications. The threat is real, but can we predict when the next big solar storm will hit us? As we stand on the brink of a new era of space exploration and technological advancement, this question has never been more critical. The clock is ticking, and the time to prepare is now. Just as we forecast Earth's weather, we can also forecast space weather. But how do we predict something as vast and complex as space weather? The answer lies in a blend of cutting-edge technology and deep scientific understanding. Solar storms, or space weather events, are monitored by a network of satellites and ground-based observatories. These instruments track solar activity, including solar flares and coronal mass ejections. They also gather data about the sun's magnetic field and solar wind, the stream of charged particles the sun constantly emits. One of the most critical tools in our forecasting arsenal is the Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO. Launched in 2010, the SDO provides us with an almost uninterrupted view of the sun, capturing images in multiple wavelengths every few seconds. This constant stream of data allows us to observe changes in solar activity in real time and predict when a solar storm might occur. But predicting space weather isn't just about monitoring the sun, it also involves understanding how solar activity can affect the Earth. To this end, scientists use complex computer models that simulate the Earth's magnetosphere, the region of space dominated by our planet's magnetic field. These models help us understand how a solar storm might interact with our planet, and what effects it might have. While our ability to predict space weather has improved greatly in recent years, it's important to remember that this is still a young science. We're constantly learning new things about the sun, and about how solar activity can affect our planet. But with each new discovery, we're better equipped to prepare for future solar storms. As we look ahead to the predicted solar storm of 2024, there's no doubt that we face a formidable challenge. But with the tools and knowledge we have at our disposal, we're well positioned to meet this challenge head on. The sun, in all its glory, remains a potent and unpredictable force of nature. But as we continue to develop our understanding and technological capabilities, we're becoming more adept at predicting its moods and guarding against its potential impacts. As 2024 approaches, the question on everyone's mind is, are we prepared for a possible solar storm? As we stand on the brink of this potential celestial event, our readiness is indeed a matter of critical importance. The global scientific community is tirelessly working to fortify our defenses. Advanced warning systems are being developed and precautionary measures are being put in place to safeguard our technology and communication infrastructure. However, preparedness extends beyond the realm of science and technology. It's about increasing public awareness and understanding the potential impact of such an event. We need to remember that knowledge is our first line of defense. By understanding the nature of solar storms, their impact and how to respond, we can minimize potential disruptions. It's about fostering a culture of readiness, a collective effort to protect our planet and our way of life. The sun has its storms and so does the earth. But as long as we're aware and prepared, we can weather any storm that comes our way.